Welcome back to the Girl Cave. September's color is brown. So I'm doing a layout using doggy paper. This is from the Bart collection by Echo Park. I already went ahead and I stamped on my paper. I normally don't stamp. I have very few stamps and I just never remember to use them. But during International Scrapbooking Weekend, I purchased one of the grab bags from HipKit and this stamp set was included. And I immediately thought that I would keep it with the collection that I have for pets because that way I would see it whenever I was going to be making a pet page. And that was perfect because once I saw this stamp, I knew that I wanted to use one little phrase and then I thought, hold on, I have another stamp that I could use for the background. And that's how that came about. These are the two papers that I'm going to use. So I'm going to place these two sheets of paper right here. We got a nice thunderstorm going, hopefully. I don't have to run to the laundry room again. <laughs> so let me adhere it. And I cut them just a little bit shorter than 12 because I want to um, like I want to place them playfully like one higher than the other. I want to make sure that I cover the edge of where I stamp. And then this one, which is already stuck to my paper. Good Lord. Uh, I will place this one a little higher, right there. And I might use this from my bashka just to add a little bit of color because one of the die cuts that I'm using is very similar. Actually, I might use both and be done with that. So I'll think about that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my title and I want it to be right there. I want those two little doggies to show. And I will place this here. So I'm gonna see if I can paper clip it right here. Perfect. Actually, I have the paper clip working. And I have placed my cut apart that I'm using as a title on a coaster from a restaurant. That way, it gives me. Uh, some dimension for the whole thing. So I'm going to place this here. Oh, I guess I should put adhesive on it. And then I will place right here. Turn it around. It says live and learn. And I have this flare that I purchased from Karen at Yes Please Paper Crafts. So I need a bit of dimensional tape. Hmm, hold on, because I have two stickers that I want to use, but I couldn't figure out where I wanted them. I wonder if I could use one there. It says that's going to leave a mark. No, I'll just that and then fair warning these pictures may be a little graphic so if you have a weak stomach you might want to look away <laughs> put some adhesive on them real quick and I want this one here I might put this sticker right there why not and I might even do this one. That's going to leave a mark. That's my Roomba. And there was a thunderstorm. And my grand dog is terrified of thunderstorms. So he went and he pooped under the dining room table. Mm -hmm. And the Roomba did the rest. I think that will work. I have a little sticker that says damage fallout and I'm gonna put it right here to cover um, 
that cord damage fallout and then I'm going to make a cluster right here and I've got this cute little die cut and this was from a hmm I want to say Heidi swap collection it was like for boys uh, like teens and this little doggy is from a Mrs. Grossman sticker. Yeah, it doesn't have an, a date, but we all know that's super old. But he's perfect. He is perfect for this right here. I'm going to put the little... I have a brand that is a doggy house. I'm the reason why we can't have nice things. And we will put the little pupper. Who's so adorable. Right there. Isn't he cute? And then my journaling will go right here. So I want to place this right there. And then I will create another cluster. Right there. And there's a lot of dead space on that picture, so that's perfect. I will place the doggy right there, but I have to get my my crocodile. And I'm going to stamp a little phrase right here. And it says, excuse my French. <laughs> okay, so that's done. That's done. All I have to do is place this right there. Do my journaling. And do I want to add some? Oh, I was going to use this. Yep. So let me do that. I'm going to place it right here. And a little bit here. Let me get my scissors. So I'll use the darker one as well. So earlier this year, I think it was in the spring, I won one of Janet's grab bags and it had it had some a little bit more they have more profile. Should I add enamel dots? Hmm. I mean, I could put it behind the doggy like poopy. <laughs> He's pooping. He's pooping, but no, I don't like him. They seem a little big compared to, I don't know, maybe a lighter color. What do you think? Should I keep the enamel dots? And then I need three here. Oh, I need a darker one here. And I'll put this one here. I'm not completely sold on the enamel dots. 
What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Should I keep the enamel dots or not? Do you have a funny Roomba story? Last week, Scylla did a layout of her Roomba. She calls her the Hair Matador. And I will tell you that even though I took apart my Roomba because I did not want to throw it away, uh, my sister had an incident where she was like, nope, I'm throwing it away. She threw away her Roomba. But I would have to agree with her that in that case, I would not have touched it either. <laughs> So this one wasn't so bad. I put on some gloves, I took it apart, and I cleaned it really, really well. Don't forget to check out the other ladies that are participating in this year-long challenge. We are almost done. So in the following weeks, hop on over to see Donna, Scylla, Michelle, Sarah, Kelly, Emily, and Ginger's layout. Please give this video a like, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you be part of my community, and I will see you again next week. Bye!